What is the deal with Twitter slash X? That is the topic of this little video. Sitting here in the uh, parking lot of our beautiful Blount County Public Library. Uh, yeah, you can see it. I, uh, I uh, decided to give Twitter a try a couple weeks ago and I used the, uh, you know, I just wanted to help spread the channel more, so I used the create account with a Google button where all it does is use your Google account. I thought you could do that and it'd look authentic. And uh, also to help, I wanted to help spread the channel and there's some news sites that I like that post on there that require you to have an account to read their stuff, so I thought I'd kill three birds with 18 stones. But uh, I know I know a lot of stuff on social media and other websites is a lot of it's automated nowadays. But this is kind of ridiculous. I think I created the account on January 18th or so. I couldn't get a banner picture to upload, but I got a profile picture to upload, which I'll show what my profile looks like here. And uh, on. Uh, I printed off emails because I'm old fashioned. On Sunday, January 28th, I uploaded, I finally got a banner photo to upload, which is literally this photo here. It's a picture I took myself with a cell phone in Cades Cove. All of a sudden, at 1.50 a.m., I was staying up late that night, I got an email from X. Hello, Keegan the Tennessean. Your account, Tennessean 1796, which is the year Tennessee was founded, has been suspended for violating the X rules due to a user report, specifically for violating our rules against evading suspension. Note that if you attempt to evade a suspension by creating new accounts, we will suspend your new accounts. I've never been on this site at all before. And all of a sudden I upload a picture and they think I'm trying to evade suspension by creating a new account. I don't know. Anyways, they gave me instructions. Contact the support team if I wish to appeal. I did. And then they responded at 1.54 a.m. Sunday, January 28th. Hello, we received your request to have your account reinstated. Please respond to this email with the reason you believe your account suspension was an error and or the reason you are requesting an appeal. So I did. And I said, Hello. It's a high. Hello. I'm honestly not sure why my account was suspended. I'm a new Twitter user and all I did was log in tonight and add a banner photo that I took in Cades Cove here in my home area. I would be happy to provide an ID if needed or whatever else I need to do if someone thinks I'm a fake account. Come on, paper. And then they replied, or something replied at 329. Hello, thanks for reaching out. We're unable to verify you as the account owner with the information you provided. If you believe your account was compromised by someone else, please file a new report new support requests to provide us with more information related to the account so we can best support you. That to me sounds like an automated response. And I was thinking this whole time, like, you know what? To have created an account with the create an account, use your Google account option, you have to have access to the Google account, which I've got multi-factor authentication set up on, but apparently they think it's fake. And then when I log in, I click the log in with Google account button. I don't just use a random email address and password but anyways let's see what did I do next so I went through the steps again got another reply we received a request to have your account instated please respond to this email yeah 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 so I did again and I replied again this was later on Sunday at 106 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Good afternoon. I don't know why I was suspended. I signed up with my Google account and would log in with the sign in with Google account button 
thinking that would be fine. I logged in last night and added a banner photo of the mountains in my area, then was notified I was suspended. Is this common for new users? And then, this is how I've started even feeling, gosh, can I English today? This is what made me think that this is an automated process because I got the same response. Hello, thanks for reaching out. We're unable to verify you as the account owner with the information you provided. So, and then, where am I at? This page ain't supposed to be there. Sorry. Okay. Anyways, I must be missing a page, but I got another response, another thing to reply to stating why I think the account was locked. So I said in that one, I followed the steps in the previous email. What else can I do to verify my identity? Do I need to send a picture of a driver's license or link my LinkedIn account or anything? I never got to add, I never got the chance to add my phone number before this happened, but can add it. Then I get the reply of replies. Hello, thanks for reaching out about case 0358434827. This case has been closed and we aren't able to reopen it at this time. But we'd like to make sure you get the help you need. It's like they think or the system thinks I'm a fake account or something. So then I try to do the right steps. I even I changed my password and all that to try to see let them know I'm a legitimate person and then I get the shut it down response. Another guy on the radio, shut it down. But uh Yeah. Anyways. A little bit of time goes by and then all of a sudden a few days later it, it randomly the suspension disappears on its own not a notice of hey your suspension has been lifted we made a mistake sorry we trust computers too much nothing it's just the suspension's gone so I use that time to uh, you know add my phone number add authentication methods like a security key I'm an IT guy so I know security is important just because I, I, there's a lot of news I like to follow that require an account on this site, and it helps spread the channel. So I uh, do all that, and then I start getting people following me, but every time I look at the account, it's some girl. Looks like a fake account, like they're just trying to either get guys for money or whatever. So every time one follows me, I block it because I don't need that drama in my life. This one follows me. The first one that followed me, I didn't know who it was by the picture, so I clicked on the account to see who it was. This person's profile is just littered with adult content. It's disgusting. Right on the main timeline. I'm like, how can this be allowed on Twitter? So I reported the profile. A few days later, I get this response. Hello, after reviewing the available information, we want to let you know the user, and I'm not even going to say their name here because I don't want to send anybody to that person or that bot's profile or whatever, hasn't broken our safety policies. We know this isn't the answer you're looking for. If this account breaks our policies in the future, we'll notify you. You can block the account, which I did. Let's see. Here's a summary of what isn't allowed on Twitter according to our safety policies. Oh, I was going to show this is actual email from them and not anything I'm making up. Here's uh, what's not allowed on Twitter. Threatening violence against someone or a group of people, celebrating or praising violence, harassing someone or encouraging people to harass someone, wishing harm on someone, promoting violence, threatening or harassing people because of their identity like race or gender, promoting or encouraging suicide or self-harm, images, Im yeah, images or videos that show sexual violence and assault, child sexual exploitation, threatening or promoting terrorism or violent extremism. 
I can agree. I think we can all agree those are bad things. We know we don't always get it right, so if you think we made a mistake, you can report them again. But apparently, pornographic material is not on this list of stuff that's allowed. They might think you're a fake account and will make it extremely difficult to either get the suspension lifted or you just got to give up on, on using the site at all. But it's perfectly okay on Twitter to have gr obscene graphic images on your main timeline that's just open to whoever of any age and that's apparently that's okay by, by twitter standards so what the heck is going on with that site hopefully somebody wiser than i can let me know because that's just messed up stuff i'm glad at least they hide the sensitive material i made the mistake of clicking view because I've seen stuff that was blocked by filters before that wasn't bad things at all. It's just something someone might consider this offensive. And it was just something random that had nothing to do with anything. But So I made the mistake of clicking on that seeing, oh, what's this person? Who are they? And it wasn't even a picture of them. It's just random, random a collage of random people in obscene images. So... Yeah, if you're on Twitter, be careful what you click on and look at. But I just, I just don't understand how that can be allowed on a site like that. Like, isn't what's the minimum age for a Twitter account? Thirteen or something? I don't know. Somebody let me know. But it's ridiculous. Like, to go to those bad sites, I think you have to be a legal adult. I don't know. But. Like, if you're on a site where you can be younger than a legal adult and have access to that stuff, I think something's something needs to get done about that. But that's my opinion. I gotta... I was hoping to spend more time here at the library, but I gotta get to the grocery store before I hop on to work later today. So, I'll see y'all on the next one.